Hello everyone, I am Olaf Davis and I am the development leader at Totler. Did you know that every year a blade production facility throw away up to 40 tons of perfectly good bonding adhesive as chemical waste? So at Totler we have developed a solution that will eliminate this waste. But first of all, a small introduction of ourselves. Totler Engineering was founded in 1981 and is since 2008 under management by Udo and Sandra Tartler. For the last 16 years we have been developing and supplying meter mix and dosing machines customized for wind turbine blade production all over the world. Today I will take you on a short journey through the blade bonding process and show you how we can help reduce waste using our latest innovation. I will start by explaining the blade bonding process. This is an operation where you join two blade shells together to form the complete blade. Most often a two component epoxy adhesive is used for the bonding process. The adhesive is applied using specialist meter mix and dosing machines made by Tartler and also others. In the example picture you see a blade mold with a structural shell inside it and two noodle pox bond paste machines running along the side of the mold as the adhesive is applied. By taking a closer look, the machine has a long boom arm to reach in over the mold and the adhesive is dispensed through an application hose. The operator applies the adhesive with a glue shovel to control the bond line profile. Like I said earlier, there is potentially over 40 tons of good material wasted that can be recovered from this operation every year. Before, after or even during the bonding process, it is necessary to change the material drums Typically, a 65 meter blade needs up to three 200 liter drums of adhesive to join it. For both the A and B component, during a drum change, there is up to 14 kilo perfectly good material left in the inliner. In the photos below, you can see that in the bottom of the material drum, there is a material left after it has been emptied by the machine. If you try to recover this perfectly good material and you scratch it into an empty drum, you will trap a significant amount of air in the material at the same time. The air trapped in the material makes it unsuitable for reuse in meter mix machines and causes significant risk of mix ratio errors, unstable dosing and disruptions during the critical bonding process. So most often to avoid this risk, this leftover material is discarded and wasted. Looking at a 4 megawatt blade factory, producing around 800 blades per year, we estimate that approximately 2,000 drums are consumed. So this represents a typical loss of 28 tons or 200,000 euros of material. Some other significant sources of material waste comes from mix ratio testing that is performed on a regular basis would waste approximately 12 kilo per test. Purging out the air during a drum change can waste up to 6 kilo material as well. Together this represents an additional loss for around 15 tons or about 100,000 euros of material per year. Also in addition to the value of the material itself, this practice is very bad for the environment as a whole. Then you have the cost of the removal and proper treatment of the material as hazardous waste. Recognizing this problem in the industry, we have since two years developed and proven in production at a global blade producer a solution that you can recover this loss and reduce unnecessary waste. I proudly present to you the Tava 200F bond paste degassing equipment. This will remove all unwanted air pockets in the material and make it like new. That will ensure the material can be reused safely and we guarantee a problem free operation of your bond paste machines during any critical process. The system consists of a Tava 200F vacuum drum degassing unit and an Udupox one component pumping unit. In this example, I will now show you how to use this equipment. First, you recover the leftover material from the inliner, the purging and the mix ratio tests. You then transfer it into an empty material drum and this can be with or without a new inliner. Then the material drum is put in the pumping unit and the material is transferred over to the Tava 200F vacuum drum and degassed under full vacuum. After the degassing process is finished and the drum is filled with air-free material, it can be used back in the production with your bond paste machines. 
Finally, to sum up the important points about our innovative Tava 200 solution that is there to help you reduce waste. The system is standalone and can be used independently with an meter mix machine supplier. It enables you to recover normally wasted material and use it back in your production like it was new material. Look forward to a significant cost reduction after investing in a Tava 200F unit. Continue to use existing machines in production, but in a more productive way. For example, always start with a 100% full machine, as half empty drums can now be combined again through the Tava unit to refill into full drums. Thank you for your attention. You can find more information about the Tava 200F system and other Tartlet technologies in the virtual lobby or on our website. My colleagues and I will be available for you to answer any further questions. Have a nice day.